roughly Money. seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> You know, I was going to say, I spent over a crazy amount, but not a house mortgage, though. <laughs> ah. This is a YouTube advertisement for a mobile game called Ebony the King's Return. You've probably seen this. By the way, I always actually wanted to, you know, play one of these games. These games are quite enticing to actually, you know, click on. Some of them are, and they do it literally on purpose to basically mess some of these things, to basically make you think that hey i'm smarter than them so let me try play these games but it's a trick everybody knows this so sad or ads just like it a million billion jillion times before right but if you yeah go to the it's insane on your phone and you download this game you will quickly realize that the game you see in this ad does not exist ebony <laughs> is a game about um <laughs> How I found this video is through Asmund Gold, right? And I saw like a, not even a, a minute, like I saw a few seconds of it. And I already knew that I wanted to react to this because there was a, a game that I played that came from these guys. Well, I don't know if it's the same company, but the way that they, the way that these guys actually do advertisement, it seems like they're all coming from the same freaking cave, right? But this is ridiculous though. There's an actual honest to God chat. They're, they have to have game modes, right? They have to have game modes that the game looked like what they showed before. Like your games cannot be just based on you. I just want you to, to download and we gain money. I don't think they gain money through downloads. Now the advertisers do gain money from it. I don't even know who's getting money from this. Like because these guys are actually Building. rich, Build an empire which is ridiculous. Level up your town hall and all that good stuff. But despite the fact that this ad is a lie, this marketing strategy is clearly very effective. This game yeah, they has never stop. Hundred million downloads on the Google Play. Now, how many are actually playing though? <laughs> Uh, the, 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 this download is actually insane though how did you guys saw my nipples I, I don't know bro <laughs> I, I should put a t-shirt but i shouldn't actually get, get out from there you know i should actually dress even though i have a t-shirt here this is not a t-shirt it's my pajamas but 3.8 stars with 699k reviews okay before i was thinking that hey these guys these downloads are just basically clickbaits that people are just going going there and click it and then you know completely uh uninstalling the game because if you download and then uninstall it still counts as a download right it doesn't basically revert back so it still counts now what shocks me to absolute stupidity is the fact that they have 3.8 stars 699k reviews the reviews i would understand if they were all mostly negative sorry all negative it's 3.8 though so did they bought the reviews yeah you can but not this many though like you cannot bought these many reviews bro you are actually losing money store so you might be thinking to yourself mm. why would a company even do this what do they stand to gain by tricking over a hundred million people into downloading a game that yeah. doesn't even exist well i can answer your question in just one word mm. whales and when you think of whales you might think of you know i uh, how though like how like whales also have okay I was a whale when I was playing Digimon Masters Online. So I understand the whale mentality. I just don't understand this though. Like, where is the mentality here? There's absolutely no mentality going through here. Zero blood going through the brain. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. Okay, but explain to me. Maybe he will. No big giant creatures swimming through the sea, or maybe, you know, the country with hills and sheep and stuff. But a mobile game developer, when they think of a whale, they think of this guy. His name is Daigo, and he is completely and utterly addicted to a mobile game called Fate Grand Order. He spends basically Fate Grand every Order. waking... Fate Grand Order uh i have never played that game but i think i playing this game i played a lot of mobile games though. of this wall street journal video being but i stopped playing gacha games i roughly money. seventy thousand dollars on the <laughs> you know i was gonna say i spent over a crazy amount but not a house mortgage though <laughs> ah. so much money that he couldn't actually state an exact figure and perhaps the most shocking part of it all is that he doesn't regret spending a single penny this right here is the life 
Did I regret spending every single time on the gacha game that I was playing? Digimon Masters Online? Definitely regret it because they basically just blocked my account. So uh, even even if I wanted to sell, I can't sell that account. So lost all my money there. Uh, Honkai Star Rail? I got the game. I stopped it because if I continue playing the game, I will 100% spend more money on it. Not worth it. You know, I regret spending money on every single gacha game yes i do except for the ones that i basically made a video but none of those videos actually got successful so i do regret every single one of them so yes i do regret every single one of them blood of your average free-to-play mobile game maybe your game gets a hundred million downloads but the overwhelming majority of those players won't spend a single penny on your game many of them will quit yeah. after just a couple of hours a small percentage of players will spend i would be amazed amounts of money they didn't quit the, the, the like the actual second that they see the game but hey, I digress. Here or there, just to make the game more fun for them. But then a very small number of people will spend astronomical amounts of money on the game. So much money that it Bro, makes up like for like these animations are not even half good. Spent a penny what are you combined. doing? And the more downloads your game gets, the more whales you get. According to some sources, Wait, what? only about two percent of all mobile game players turn out to be whales. Yet they are responsible 2%. for spending the overwhelming majority of the money that the mobile gaming industry makes each year and two percent of a hundred million downloads is a whole lot more whales than two percent of ten thousand downloads so oh so two percent would equivalent to two million so with 200 people spending money on whatever on whatever the heck you're offering and if it's in a high price yeah you can make a whole you can live forever <laughs> oh my goodness gracious with 200 and they are whales brother like some of them are rich and majority of them i bet you they're all poor literally the term whales doesn't actually necessarily mean that you're healthy it just means that you'd like spending money on games now whether you have got that money or not it's up to you but normally it's because you just or addicted addicted to it which i was that's why i stopped it even though i do have a mobile game on my phone but let's not talk about that one but okay so an advertisement like this which just flagrantly shows you a game that isn't real is doing its job exactly right all this ad needs to do is convince you to download the game that's it because yeah yeah but the thing is i don't understand too well because if they are clicking on the game that you're showing on the advertisement wouldn't you think making that game would be amazing and profitable even more profitable mostly because um you're already having the downloads because of the image that you're showing and if we go by the by this game here the barrel one right if we go by this design brother i don't think it costs that much to make this okay <laughs> like let's be realistic i don't think it costs this much to do this yeah the animation is like smooth and everything but you could just make something that looks resembling like this and then make it so but to be fair like there's not much transaction that could go through a game like this what are you gonna do like put implement skins okay implement new weapons how they look, the skin of the weapons, maybe, but the shot, the power, maybe, the amount of uh, soldiers that you can acquire in like lesser levels or early stages, maybe. So there's not a there's not much transactional things that you could do on this type of game than on the game that they are basically doing, which is like the world class uh, royal rumble or you know the emperor the empire build your castle build your stadium and stuff like that I, i'm trying to say just build your village okay like games like this has super amount they can literally make infinite amounts of transactional items and everything so i do understand why would they implement the other one instead of this one because well we have more options to basically store money from you okay hey you can get 
apps to do new is things you to download pretty game. freaking that's it because yeah sure 90 percent of people are going to uninstall it basically immediately and 98 yeah. percent of people won't spend a penny but those two percent make so much money that from the gaming company's perspective all of this lying and cheating is worth it in the end yeah and it makes the biggest mobile game developers billions of dollars every year let me see this freaking chart here. Tencent, Tencent. Uh, which game did Tencent made? I don't remember. In a single year. Four B. What type of games are you actually making? I'm actually curious. Tencent, what have you been doing? But you're all probably thinking to yourself the exact same thing right now. This is just false advertising. Isn't false advertising meant to be illegal? Don't these companies get sued into the ground for advertising a game Clearly that's not, completely bro. fake? Well, Clearly in not. theory, yes, false advertising is illegal and it can get you into some serious trouble. But in practice, these companies aren't actually uh, breaking the law. You see, when I said this game didn't exist, I was almost telling the truth. Because this game you see in the ad does exist inside Wait, what? of Ebony the King's Return. See, it's a mini game that you can play inside of Ebony. You can play it for free for about half an hour before the levels run dry and you have to start engaging with the base building mechanics that most of the game is centered around. So to any government agency looking in, you didn't technically falsely advertise your product. This I always were in the in the mindset of why don't these guys implement the game that they're showing inside of another game? And they actually do it. They just advertise and animate the crap out of the freaking advertisement, freaking uh, anima animators and all of that. But Jesus. Look, I'm not asking to <laughs> an RK state of graphics here but it doesn't look exactly the same i wouldn't also ask to be exactly the same because i don't know how these advertisements go but it is close to what they game they stated is so the mobile app that it's advertising that's a it's good idea i'm not gonna lie. advertising it's just disingenuous advertising <laughs> and disingenuous isn't illegal, so they get away with it. Now, there are some games that do a Yeesh. much, much worse job of pretending to be the game from the ad. Like, whilst I was researching this video, I played a game called Top War Battle Game that, as far as I could tell, wasn't even trying to pretend to be the game from the ad. So I have no idea how there ain't no way, like bro. these get away with it. But generally, the game in the ad will be somewhere inside the app at some point. They run an ad that shows a game that looks kind of fun so it convinces you to download the game you play this little mini game for half an hour before quickly realizing that the bulk of the game is not really what you signed up for and this is where most people just uninstall the game and never think about it again but for that oh. tiny two percent of players they get hooked on what the rest of the game contains and they spend money again and again and they single-handedly bankroll the entire company that makes the game for years to come now if you've been on the internet it for a while and have a relatively good memory you might also remember these adverts these oh, ones God. are similarly infamous i think i did no not this one but i i did actually don't no i am not that insane but i actually did saw a video i actually tried to investigate if i could actually play a game like this but it was a different style different style in terms of animation but it's literally copy paste the same thing and uh all i can say is it was in the game it wasn't all of the game hell it wasn't even freaking two percent but hey it was in the game right so I, I, I could be happier for being completely fake and not representing the game at all in fact these ones are so infamous that they actually made an entire ad campaign that literally commented on how their ads are fake guys didn't y'all believe that all those puzzle ads were fake and there's no Oh, bro. Uh, oh my God. You know, <laughs> it made me so like, I, I, I don't even know my emotions at this point because this advertisement is so cheap. I was, oh, good Christ. It's like these guys were actually saying, hey, this game is fake. Or no, they were saying, oh, remember all those games and nah, 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 like this guy saying there are with fake ads and all that. And then they show the same fake game with the same fake ad and tell you, yes, you can play this. Are we lying? <laughs> you got to freaking click on the game to see if I'm lying. 
I hate these people. <laughs> I hate them and I also just appreciate how scummy they are. You gotta work to be like this scummy. No such game, but today I finally found the game. Ebony the King's Return. Honestly, th also, I don't even know if they're lip syncing their own lip sync. The voice is his, maybe, I don't know. Because it seems like he's saying those words that is coming out of his... I don't know if it's coming out of his mouth. But he's saying the exact words, right, that we can hear. But for some reason, it's not matching. So it's clearly lip syncing. Or he recorded both in different times. Either way, this is scuffed as crap. Like, this is beyond scuffed. Scuffed this city. This one is so bold in just, like, doubling down on the lie that I honestly kind of respect it. But these yeah, you gotta respect all them. over the internet a few years back, just blatantly showing a game that they had no intention of actually letting you play for more than 10 minutes. But these ads were discontinued a long Screw time ago. Screw 10 minutes. And have not minutes. been running for years. And when you download Ebony, this old game is nowhere to be found which yeah but there's a game literally with the same these mobile game ideas used to advertise their game they use what's called a b testing they will create a bunch of different adverts and then roll them all out onto youtube all at once then they look at the statistics to see which of these ads performed the best and which of them resulted in the most downloads for the game whichever mm. of these ads that they created that does the best will be kept and the rest will get discarded they then take the okay successful ad and they make some iterations of it changing you know details here and there inside the ad then they oh. roll out those ads again and measure their success and they do this over and over again until they have the perfect ad to get as many downloads as possible for their game and the most important part of all is that sorry for cutting you on the most important part of all but apparently so is that so you're saying that all of these all of these ads cannot be coming from the same company, right? That'd be crazy. But at the same time, that would be a, a good business strategy. I'm not going to lie. Because it's not that expensive to advertise. <laughs> the way that they're advertising, you would think it's expensive because they are showing that to every single human being in the galaxy. Because everybody saw these ads. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you <laughs> what you watch on YouTube or whatever. They will show you these, this ad, which is crazy. Are these all the same company? Whatever mini game they decide to show in the advert is literally completely made up from scratch. And if one of the fake mini games in oh, the ad starts to do well as an ad campaign, they, they put it in the game. The mini game for their ad in the to match the ad. Funnily enough, most products you you know what I respect it. <laughs> for a business standpoint, you know I respect it. Yeah, I respect it. Like I, I literally can't lie. Like they, they cooked. <laughs> they cooked. Ay, 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 yeah, brother. Like before, I was like, okay, these guys are not serious. But now, I think that these guys are super not serious. But they actually make do what they got do. Okay, <laughs> whatever that means. As a business, these guys are cooking. I can't actually complain. Usually start, you know, making the product. No, I, I actually can't complain because that is annoying though. Product, but mobile game But I, I bought YouTube Premium, so now I can't. I don't see any ads. As well as so I'm good. To, the moment people start to catch on that the game they're being advertised is completely fake, the company then changes their entire ad campaign, make a brand new ad Wait, with what? a brand new fake game, and spread it far and wide, starting the cycle all over again. Now, whilst I was researching this. So we can say that, that this is all on the same company. I get my head around for the longest time. If you're a mobile game company and you yeah. have an ad that looks mm -hmm. like this, that is insanely popular, why mm -hmm. not just make your entire game? That's what I have been saying for freaking thousands of years. But I think everybody has been saying that, to be honest. Like, this is like, a, this is common sense at this point. A baby would click on this and ask them and ask why isn't what I clicked on. <laughs> the same thing that I'm, you know, clicked for. <laughs> they could be smarter. You know what? They could be a bit smarter when it comes to like business wise because I believe that they would gain a lot more money. But at the same time, who knows? Because this is just one aspect of the game. But can't they make two games inside of one game if it's this successful? I bet they can. Like, but they want to do this constantly with no, with no absolute, uh, whatchamacallit? They don't want effort put in like 
absolutely zero effort. Hey, we we're going to throw the ads. And if the people like the game for the ad, we will implement the game in the well how does that work because if people have to click on the ad to go to the game and they will have to test it to see which one is more successful and then they will add that game afterwards so a lot of you know they these guys are losing a lot of customers because this is saturating the patience of every single mobile gamer look like this like it's clearly super popular people because like if you and it had somebody that clicked on it this person is never going to click on any of one of your ads again on the app store page talking about <laughs> how mad they are about the false advertising so if you get yeah. all this backlash from your scummy marketing strategy why not just make the entire game be just like the super popular ad campaign that your team came there up has with. to be a now, reason this is where we get to the saddest and most insidious part of the story you see oh when there is a story only half of the money making strategy that these game companies employ because okay. even if you get a hundred million downloads on your app even if two million whales rock up to your app cash in hand you still have to convince those whales to yeah. spend their money in the first place. And this is where we get to the nasty part. The reason Evany is a base builder, and the reason it's been a base builder for its entire lifetime, mm, is because I wanna know the this. base builder game is created from the ground up by very intelligent people with one single goal in mind. To be as addictive and manipulative as possible in order to get you to feel pressured into spending your money. And once you've started spending your money it's designed to keep you spending it over and over again whales aren't just whales because hmm i did say that this is actually based on the fact that uh these type of castle building um games it has more ways to it has a system that pretty much can give you more monetary value so i can basically have more items or more accessibility for transactional items that i can basically offer now on the games that are showing up in the apps there it's super limited compared to that so yes it, it is it is the same thing that i said but in a more detailed way yeah in a more detailed way they're stupid and have too because much these guys are just hands. manipulating you but at the same time they are unfortunately addicted to a game that they yeah are willing this to is an addiction tens of thousands of dollars on and this little this is like gambling it's the same thing the gambling just isn't good at making whales spend their money it's very yes. good at convincing people to download a game it's i was right yep it's literally what i was thinking mini game is that it's hard literally what i was thinking whereas a base builder or an yeah. anime rpg is incredibly easy to monetize and they exactly. use all of the nastiest little tricks in the book that you can possibly think of to manipulate people into spending their money they slow mm -hmm. your progression through the game to a crawl and then offer you the ability to buy your progression back they intentionally don't make their games too skill based so that you'll be more willing to just buy chances to win they offer yeah. you limited time deals to make you feel pressured into spending money literally right now or know this every game that has a vip system a vip system don't play that game if you are a whale or trying to not spend money on games and just trying to you know cruise through the game and have fun or you're just trying to play the game and you're not a whale don't play any game that has a vips function any game that has a vip function okay you are not gonna have fun either way or you're gonna spend Spend your whole wallet and your finances all in that game for a VIP system, or you're gonna lose to every single person in that game. Just saying, don't play VIP games. Or else the deal goes away. The they ones that have VIP systems. Characters, skins, or items impossible to directly buy, and make it so that the only way to access them is through loot box mechanics that are completely random. In fact, there's this really, really scary disgusting video on the internet called let's go whaling where this guy this ain't no way dirty bastard of a man Yo. goes on a massive 20 minute Please talk don't. about just how he monetizes a mobile game and it is i'm interested i want to hear it staring in the face of satan himself to be fair i would have a different view from him just because i did study marketing so i'm not gonna lie i got a different view when it comes to like these type of things because 
His whole purpose is to sell you something. He does not give a damn. <laughs> he does not give a damn how he comes across, okay? If he sells, it's good. So I want to see his, you know, thought process and actual tactics. Because at that point, it's just a consumer's fault. Like, let's be real. <laughs> I won't go over the entire video here. I'll just link it in the description for you to watch the whole thing. And I really do recommend you watch it because he goes over every dirt. Bro, the like and the dislike and like the ratio is actually insane. What the heck did this man actually say? <laughs> now I'm actually curious. He goes over every dirty little trick in the business that mobile game companies use to pathologize spending money. And after you finish, why would he even do video, this in the first and place? <laughs> this guy has made you really, really angry. Just think that there are dozens of people just like this guy that work at the biggest and most profitable gaming companies in the world, and they. I want him. I want him to actually show me a little bit of what that guy's actually said. Maybe I will actually watch that video. I'm actually curious. Every moment of their working lives trying to weasel their way into your mind and into Value. your wallet. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. What was that? No, no, no. I'm not pausing. company <laughs> can't just make their entire game look like the ad. Because the game yeah. in the ad looks much more fun to play. But it's much worse yeah. at slyly convincing people to part with their hard-earned cash. And you exactly. might be sat at home thinking to yourself, well, I would never be dumb enough to fall for this stuff. I have never spent a penny on a mobile game in my life. I have. And that's just a thing because you're probably right you probably wouldn't fall for this stuff but there are people out there that yeah. do, and they fall for it really hard and as much as you might not want to admit it those people are just like you and me they're not dumber than you they're not necessarily bro i'm upset <laughs> yeah i'm upset <laughs> like this guy is actually genuinely happy are just like uh <laughs> But I'm looking at where he lives. Well, to be fair, my location is also... But to be fair, like, you guys are seeing my bed and everything. But this image, it just makes me upset. Because not only that the game looks crap. I'm not going to lie. The game doesn't actually look that appealing. Just because of the graphics alone. But maybe it will. And then how happy it is he is. And how much money he probably spent on this. Like, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset for you him. You and me. They're not dumber than you. They're not necessarily less able to see it for what it is than you are. They're just more it's an, prone to falling into these it's an addiction. addiction traps than you are. They are being manipulated in I one way or another by a bunch of people in suits, what I'm about to just say. like this f who spend their the, lives yo, abusing relax. quirks of human psychology to make themselves insanely rich at the expense of everyday people just like I can't blame them. That's what every marketer does. They exploit your weakness in order to basically sell you a product. Because like I'm actually you. interested. So if you're in... watching YouTube and you see a mobile game ad that looks appealing to you, please, for the love of God, don't click on it. Because clicking on it is exactly what they want you to do. Thanks for watching. Really nice video. I do like it. Wait. This guy has an Elder Ring video?